understand why it's dangerous. In Article 19 and 20, if a lawyer sees that, he's, he's going to jump. If two-thirds of the member states agree, everybody agrees. Wow. The majority of two-thirds of member states saying, yes, we agree with this treaty or convention, will make everybody submitted to that. That's, that, you know, we haven't seen this coming. You know, it's what's weird, and, and I even thought about, like, putting ads out. Here in America, we have only ever thought of the WHO as this group that sort of oversees third world issues, right? Health in Africa, India, things like that. And it's always seemed like a good thing, great someone. You know, I, I would almost say in America, I practically interchange like UNICEF and the WHO is the same thing. Like there's just these groups, these nonprofits out there that are doing good work in the world. And then I realized in COVID, at what point did WHO think they're in charge of us, right? I mean, I, I started realizing that we have a third world medicine group that is now treating America and the UK and you know Sweden and Switzerland or what, whoever will go along with it as though we're like a third world nation. You can just rush in here, force vaccinate us as though we're you know not educated. Have no you know. And I realized in some ways, what have I been accepting happening to other nations? This is horrible. But who do you think you are? <laughs> right? We're the United States of America. How is this possible? Uh... The irony is that not President Trump, but before, they rolled out a plan I, to take over the world through the UN institutions because they could not rule the world on their own. Because I was looking for uh, Paul Wolfowitz. He replaced um, James Wolfenson at the World Bank and I had worked with him and he didn't take care of health. But when Paul Wolfowitz came in, into the World Bank, he signed directly with Gavi. He signed with Gavi, World Bank and WHO to create this IFFIM, I think I talked about it, mm -hmm. the International Finance Facility for Immunization, rolling down the money from World Bank, our money, yeah. <laughs> into Gavi, creating CEPI, yeah, mm -hmm. Foundation for Epidemic and, and Innovation. And uh, he could go on with his vaccines and the IFFIM has vaccine bonds. Go to the website. I, I went the other day and it's like, is it still there? And yes. You can see you can be part of the vaccine bonds. <laughs> and like, are they playing roulette uh, with us, uh, you know, yeah. roulette? Um, this, this is one proof that something was going on at that time already with Popov, who was the undersecretary of the Pentagon policy mm -hmm. and working a lot with defense. Why did he do this move? And this paper says yes, because they could not take over the world and they were worried of the Russian and the Chinese and they cannot dominate that world so let's use the United Nations. So hop through the World Bank with Gavi, they take over and, and submit everybody else becoming a world government and if you analyze what the World Economic Forum did in the last 10, 20 years they went uh, to Asia to mm -hmm. the World Economic Forum, uh, Japan, Asia, a big forum. Yeah. So they did go to China a guy like Maurice Strong, who was always in the UN, and he did the, he was part of the Rio climate change hoax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he went to China. I, you know, everybody seemed to go there. So the United Nations started at that time, 2003, five, to start being in, in the hands of those warmongers, going through the United Nations and submissing, doing a submission <laughs> uh, act by papers and slowly by slowly. If, if you follow um, this very interesting Bill Gates, <laughs> yeah. not a doctor, but he came to Switzerland in 2006, created a foundation. 2009, he signed this agreement who gives him total immunity with the Swiss government, gives him the status of a member state with right. total immunity. And uh, then he puts in his board, you can see, I, you have the papers I gave you about, in the um, people who were in the board, you see former UN uh, heads of yeah. agency, like Mary Robinson, head of the Human Rights Commission. I bet you see also Tedrod Ghebreyesus. Before he became director general, mm. he was in the Gavi. So they're just using everybody in the UN system to turn over the world and it seems to happen right now. Whoever those who direct 
the UN system beyond what we see are doing. It's amazing because, you know, and I've said this before on this show, I grew up um, as what we would reference as a progressive liberal in 